Hello, this is Bini here. Today, a reporter called me and asked me about my long-term views about Go. You know that I'm bullish about Go because uh, if you remember, if they ever tell this story, when I was about nine months pregnant with my daughter during 2013, I was still queuing to buy physical Go in UOB Bank. I remember that day was a very hot day and it was a long queue because Go reached a new low about um, 1001 if I don't remember wrongly. After it hit a high of 1009, it kept coming down and it went to a low of 1001. All right, today I want to update about gold and silver because I saw this very nice long-term three years pattern. And I think that it is really worth knowing about this pattern. Let's take a look at the long-term view of gold in the past 23 years, starting from 2000. Gold stayed around $300 region for quite some time. If you remember this 2000, what happened then was a the dot-com bubble crash. So gold was not really something that people want to invest in because then the money was all channeled into you know stocks. And after the dot-com bubble crash, I think that people realized that okay, gold is probably undervalued and, and they move in to buy gold and that move go from $300 range all the way to about $550 to $750. So that's almost like a double in price. Then it paused here for a while and then it moved up to this $1,000 range here, 2009. And that's where the US financial crisis started. And after that, go broke that $1,000 to move into the new range at about $1,005 to $1,009. I still remember that at $1,009, uh, I think that a lot of people were still talking about whether gold can go to 3000 but then shortly after it uh, it uh, plunged and it moved to it's the 1001 to 1400 range and and this range was where i bought in uh, my goal because my first purchase of gold was about 300 plus range then 600 plus and then somewhere around here and i bought in about 1007 and I averaged down to about um, 1001 plus minus and and this range here about 1001 to 1004 lasted for about five years before moving out right of this five-year range to a new range about thousand seven to two thousand dollars and this is the new range that i want to focus on uh, why is that so because you realize that go for the past three years they are not seeing the low of the thousand dollar range that means that it's not moving to any price that's below 1005 it's hovering around this price which is about thousand seven um, about low of 1610 you know 20 plus minus around here uh, to a high of uh, 2050 so it has been staying in this high range okay higher of the $1,000 range all right, for about three years already. Okay, now a few things that uh, I want to bring out is that the bigger pattern here could be a cup and a handle pattern. So what is the cup and handle pattern? It's a continuation pattern. That means it's more like a basing pattern. That means that Go is building a broad base here and this broad base is about uh, 10 years starting from 2012 all the way to now which is 2023. And um, if the cup and handle pattern should become true, all right, then eventually Go will move higher. Okay, now on what condition will go moved higher the few things number one is that i think there is a need to see price continue to consolidate near to the top of the range now by staying near to the top of the range is a very good indication to show that go is strong that means that people are not willing to wait until go is at thousand six or thousand seven they are now a little bit in a hurry to buy near the top of the range that means at a higher price which is about thousand nine or even two thousand dollars so we must continue to see that go is at the top of of the range so that's the first condition now of course the second condition is for price to break out of the current uh, high which is about two thousand dollars okay so what is the meaning of the breakout breakout means that i need to see that the price had a close okay um, a firm close like a month close right 
above the two thousand dollars then perhaps right your next question would be if price can really move above the two thousand dollars then how high can go go to there's this technique which is to predict into the depth okay of the cup that means if this is the cup here all right and then this is the handle then uh, you can draw and measure how deep is this cup here so let me just do the measurement of this cup okay i'm just gonna take this two here which is this one and then draw from the bottom to the high of this cup and that's about uh, about one thousand dollars then what I can do is to take this height and project to the high okay, of the highest price here, which is the price that gold must break out, which is about $2,000. Okay? And I did this and I realized that gold might have a potential to move up to this price here, which is about $3,000. Mm, so this is the reason how I've gotten this three thousand dollars here, right? Basically to measure into the cup, okay, uh, the depth of the cup and project that higher to reach this projected price. Now this is my views on gold. I hope that this is useful to you. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? Now silver is a little bit um, different because silver has similarly a cup, a massive cup and also right now is forming a handle. Okay, so this will be your cup and then this is your handle. But this is on condition that the cup and handle gets broken. Okay, meaning that um, silver, it must break above the $30, which is the high of the current cup and handle pattern here. So same thing, I'll do a measurement on the low. I'm not going to take the extreme, but just take the average price of that low and then move it higher. So this is about a $16 range. And I took the same thing and I project upwards and I reached a price high of about $46 here. So in this case here, um, it's very important for price to stage a breakout of each of the resistance, whether it is for gold or whether it is for silver. The bullishness of gold and silver is dependent on whether there should be any further upward movement. If there should be, then this cup and handle will come true. Again, I'm looking at more of a long-term bullish view on gold, but this should be not taken as financial advice. But if you do like the content, remember to let me know what other things about gold and silver that you'd like to know, or maybe adventures of buying physical gold by queuing in the rain and the sun. And if you like my uh, content, remember to subscribe because I will be updating very often, and i see you in my next video.